Oh dear. She's back from her haircut. I sound disgusting. <laughs> guys it is nearly christmas i'm so excited i love it when it's christmas because i just feel like our home looks so cozy it is torrential rain outside and we're meant to be going ice skating outdoors later on today um and it's meant to clear up this afternoon but then when we're going ice skating the rain's meant to come back with a vengeance so uh a <laughs> little worried about that we're going with our friends and then we're going out for dinner afterwards so we're going to look beautiful after being ice skating in the torrential rain for 45 minutes but anyway that's the trouble with this country you can't like plan things outside because well when you do you're just gonna get rained on so anyway it's gonna be fun whatever the weather so chris has been away for the last two nights he went to dublin with his football team because it was their christmas do so i've been solo parenting with the boys it's been so nice like yesterday it was the world cup final so we just spent all day at home we just watched we watched two Christmas movies and then we watched the football and the football obviously went on for like three and a half hours. But today I do have lots that I want to get on with. I have, well, because it's raining, I thought we'd go to the garden center. The boys don't know yet. They're not massive fans of the garden center, but once they're there, they do love it. I love a garden center because A, I can take Lulu with me. B, I love it in the summer because of all the plants and I want to make my garden look beautiful. And in the winter, like at Christmas time, they just have the best Christmas decorations. I I went there about six weeks ago and I saw this massive Santa that I just fell in love with and I can't stop thinking about him. So I'm gonna go back there today and hopefully he'll still be there. Um, or they had loads of them anyway, so hopefully one will still be there so that I can get him and put him in our home. Then Lulu's got a haircut a little bit later on. She's looking so scraggy, so I can't wait for her to have a little Christmas trim. Then I've got a Tesco shop coming, and then, like I said, we're going into town later to go ice skating. There's a pavilion down in the... Um, Brighton Centre and every year they put an ice rink there at Christmas time and we've lived here for three years now and we've never actually done it so this year we are going with our friends and then like I said we're going for dinner afterwards so I thought I would vlog our day today and I really hope you enjoy it so let's head on over to the garden centre. This is Lulu now. Let's see you. Here's some of haircut today. Let's see. No, not here. This is just a garden centre. We've got to the garden centre now, but I thought I'd just show you Lulu's haircut now. Hello, pretty girl. Let's see you. <laughs> All of this bit up here is a bit scruffy, so she'll just get a bit of a tidy up. Not too much taken off because it's cold now. But yeah, this is her now, so I'll show you what she looks like a little bit later. at all it's just a piece of wood um just to raise him up a little bit i'm not convinced that's where he's gonna stay but that's where he is at the moment and i love to move things around so he's probably gonna move a couple of times before christmas <laughs> he's got so much like character to him i went for the red one because i thought add a bit of color into our home oh dear look at that oh, that's just the house isn't it but yeah i think he looks super cute there and then with a little scene here as well are you ready for your haircut? She literally hates this. She will, she knows when we start driving there where she's going, so she will start shaking any minute because she knows it's coming. Lily, bye. Oh dear. She's back from her haircut. Chris is not going to be impressed. So, whenever we go to the hairdressers, 
We always say like leave her hair a little bit longer on top, but I forgot to say that this time. I kind of just thought the hairdressers knew that's how Lulu would get her hair cut because she's got a very small head. Hey Jay. <laughs> she's got a very small head and then a little bit of a fatter body. So by leaving the hair a little bit longer on the top, it kind of evens her out. Let me show you what she looks like. Come here. Look. <laughs> Come here. Show her for the new haircut. She looks like a sheep. Oh my God. She looks hilarious. Oh, Chris is going to come home and he is going to not be happy because he always says to me, don't forget to tell her to leave her hair a little bit longer on the top. Anyway, it's done now. <laughs> At least it'll last a while. So, just got this delivered. Oh, I love this. Did I, like, I think, oh, oh, I think Tesco might be here. Sorry about that. That was Tesco that just arrived. Anyway, I was telling you about my hat. So I just got this from ASOS. I'll link it down below. It is by Pieces. But um, I did that three day like makeover course and I've always thought I was a autumn in colors that I should wear, but actually I'm not. I am like a cool, I should wear cool colors. So as long as there's like a bluey kind of tint to something, then it will suit me. So I've got this hat and I absolutely love it. So yeah, um, before I go on, I wanna just tell you guys about this. I have told you before about my skin uh, since I got back from Dubai. Well, I got back from Dubai, I wasn't very well. By the way, they're just playing balloon football in the background. Um, I wasn't very well. I tested for COVID, it was negative, but I only tested once. And I actually think, looking back, hearing other people saying they've had COVID recently and all the symptoms they've had, I definitely know I had COVID when I came back from Dubai, like about two or so weeks after. Then I started getting this weird thing on my face and um, it just won't go. Anyway, so I thought it was just um, dry skin. I've been putting like moisturizer on it and I've been putting Balmond's on it, which is a really, really good intensive kind of, almost like a Vaseline, but a natural version of it. And nothing has made it get any better. In fact, it's actually been getting a little bit worse and it's now kind of come up here and around my nose. So I just went into the pharmacy and the lady, the pharmacist said to me, it's really hard for them to prescribe anything for your face. Like I said, maybe I need some steroids, but I'd have to go to the doctors. The doctors are so full, I can't go until next week, which would be after Christmas. So she said it actually looks like some sort of fungal virus. So she's given me this special cream. I sound disgusting. <laughs> she's given me this special cream to put on there. So I've just taken all my makeup off and I've put this cream on really thick and it's almost tingling my skin, but in, in a good way. Do you know what I mean when I say that? I know that sounds like maybe this is doing something bad to my skin, but it feels good. So that's why it is extra red at the moment. So hopefully this will work. Um, I did tell her that I think I had COVID and she actually said that so many people as a side effect from COVID have had skin rashes and skin fungal things happen on them. So that's why she thinks it could be fungal and is treating me for that. So I'm hoping that this cream makes a big difference to me. Anyway, Tesco has come. We put it away. I've wrapped a couple of extra presents and um, we're now going to get ready to go ice skating. It has stopped raining but apparently it's going to start raining again in about two hours time which is when we are going to be ice skating but I think it looks okay actually so I'm going to now go and maybe just put a little bit of like tinted moisturizer just on this area to even my skin tone up and then I'm going to take you guys ice skating. Come on in, come on up, come on over For the merriest time of year Come on up, come on in, get together For a good time, smile my dear Come on in, come on up, come on over We'll be dancing round the tree So let us have a swinging Christmas Just like one, two, three So it's now actually the next day, it's the next evening, Chris is 
starting to make dinner. I didn't finish the video last night because a couple of reasons. One was that we weren't allowed to really film on the ice and I had to do it secretly and then I wanted to do some chatting on the ice but I couldn't. Then we went out for dinner and we got home and the people went out for dinner with their boys. Our boys wanted their kids to stay over so then the kids came home. We had to sort beds out and everything. So it all got a little bit like chaotic. Anyway, I wanted to come in here and finish the video and just let you know A, about my skin. I put this cream on now, twice yesterday and then once today and I know it doesn't look like it but it's got so much better already. So I'm gonna link this, well I don't know if I can link it down below because I got it from the pharmacy. I don't think you can actually order it online but um, I will overlay what it looks like on the screen here now. And um, yeah, so I'm super, super pleased with it. So if you guys have maybe had COVID or have got something similar to what I've got, this is definitely a cream to try out um, before going to the doctors. And then lastly, I just want to say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Ice skating was so much fun. Did you fall over? I didn't fall over either. When I was younger, I used to have ice skating lessons, but I was terrible. I never got it. No matter how many lessons my mum and dad paid for, I never got any better. Chris always likes to, um, you always like to show off on the ice, don't you? I wasn't showing up once last night. You were well, it, the people we went with, Glenn, were saying, yes, I'm going to be better at this than you, Chris. And uh, bless him, but Dougie, he did fall over. Yeah, but I think that's because of Dougie. His little boy. Uh, boys were soaked, absolutely soaked, because they fell over so many times. They were trying to walk on the ice and run on the ice, and I was like, just slide, like s skate, you know. Um, glide, that's the word I was trying to look for. Anyway, if you live in Brighton or around Brighton, or you're coming down here for Christmas, then the ice rink at the pavilion is definitely something to check out. We would highly recommend it. And then we went to Pinocchio's for dinner afterwards, and I had the most delicious pizza. It was a Quattro Formaggi American Hot. So it was the four cheeses with pepperoni and some chili and some black olives. It was delicious. So that is me done for today. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna tell you what Chris is making us for dinner tonight. It's a Hello Fresh meal. We're having lamb, Rogan Josh. Pillar, pillar. Oh, that looks good. That looks delicious. We've just been to see Avatar, which was a three hour movie. So we're all starving for dinner. So he's gonna rustle that up and then we're gonna have that and enjoy it. So thank you so much again for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.